the sudden changes in the world today, plus the economy gradually recovering after the Soviet Union disintegrated. This is the motivation for the Russians to gradually restore the super projects that were abandoned after 1991. Among the Russian weapons that are planning to revive is the appearance of the giant seaplane Brief A-40 armatures. Moscow hopes the aircraft will be able to enter service in the early 2020s. The aircraft will carry out patrol missions along the Russian coast and be ready to engage in enemy submarine hunting operations. The Brief A-40 Armatures is an amphibious aircraft designed by the Brief Aircraft Company for the anti-submarine warfare role in the late 1980s, but was never put into mass production when the Soviet Union disintegrated and Russia did not have the necessary resources to continue the project. Only one prototype lay completed and a second nearing completion. The Brief A-40 was intended as a replacement for the Brief B-12 amphibian and the land-based Ilyushin Il-38. With ambition to become the largest amphibian plane in the world, the A-40 armatures first flew in 1986 and entered service in limited numbers in 1990. Because of the size and uncharacteristically high autonomy for a seaplane, the A-40 amphibian was named after the largest seabird in the world. The most ambitious Soviet project amphibian aircraft received a second chance. The United Aircraft Corporation announced plans in September 2018 to resume production of the legendary armatures, the world's largest A-40 flying boats designed to search for and destroy submarines. And although these sea planes began to develop as the early 1970s, not a single aviation power has yet been able to create anything even closely resembling. The A-40 was an all-metal construction with the engines located in the maximum splash roof zone above the wing roots, atop each of the main landing gear cellars at the rear of each wing root. The square wings had a marked anhedral angle with balance flows attached by short pylons directly under each wing tip. These wings ensure efficiency with the cruise and the bombardment, as well as low takeoff and landing speed. The fuselage is a smooth, tubular shape that houses the cockpit at its extremely forward end. The tail unit was a T shaped assembly. For landing base sorties, the aircraft is fitted with a pair of four-wheel main legs and a two-wheel nose leg. The 90 tons plane is equipped with two solo VFD-30 kPV turbofans engines, delivering 117.7 kN each. There are also two Colossoft RT-3635 turbofans takeoff booster producing 23 kN each for its shorter takeoff quality. The dimensions and capabilities of the aircraft are impressive. The length and wingspan of more than 40 meters, the height is 11 meters, and the wing area is 200 square meters. This large aircraft turned out to be extremely manageable and easy to lift. The maximum speed was listed at 800 km per hour, with an overall range out to 4,100 km. The practical steering is 9,700 meters, and the time of continuous patrol is up to 12 hours. The A-40 was clear to take off in sea six conditions. A typical crew consists of eight, include a pair of pilots and system specialists. An in-flight refueling proof was installed for extended endurance. For submarine hunting, a range of naval equipments have been planned for the A-40, including Sonoboy Sonar System for anti-submarine warfare or underwater acoustic research. There are also death chases and naval mines. To destroy the submarine, a-40 can be equipped with three Arlen torpedoes or six caution guided missiles. For anti-surface warfare roles, the A-40 can be equipped with KS-35 anti-ship missiles. 
ordnance is managed through external underwing hardboards or internal bomb bay. Over the years, the creation of different several modifications on the base A-40 were examined. Amphibian aircraft for the extinguishing of forest fires A-40P could collect during gliding up to 25 tons of water. Besides tricky fire extinguishing, A-40P would solve the problems of delivery into the region of firefighting teams, special means and equipment, patrolling forest tracks with the firefighting team aboard, the area of photography of fires and locality adjacent to them. The brief B-200 is a related A-40 development which utilizes the same basic configuration and stands as more modern, refined offering. The B-200 is intended for production in transport, passenger carrying, firefighting, patrol and search and rescue versions. The aircraft's maximum takeoff weight of 42 tons is half that of the A-40. Another version of the A-40 is the A-42 search and rescue version. Recently, Russian media reported that the Russian Ministry of Defense had plans to order three A-40s. Currently, Russian Defense Ministry authorities are establishing tactical and technical requirements for the new A-40 aircraft adjusting parameters to suit operational requirements in the present era. Accordingly, the new generation armatures can be equipped with an air refueling system and two T-27 propeller engines, increasing the aircraft's fly range from 4,100 to 9,300 km. A-40 armatures will also be equipped with a range of new next-generation systems such as target fighting radar, thermal detectors, marine wave parameters, navigation systems, area communication systems, as well as weapons control systems. The mission of the aircraft will be destroy surface, submarine and coastal targets, spread mines, and use submarine search sonars. My video of brief A40 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.